Hello, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. My name is Firhat and I'm the PSLE Science Specialist here from the PIG Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of electricity. I've put this question in a handout and you can download a copy for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. Let's get started. Mr Tan created a circuit card below and told his pupils that out of the five contact points on the circuit card, points P, Q, R, S and T, only one of them is not a conductor of electricity. He painted all the contact points black and in the next part of the question, he is trying to get his pupils to determine which contact point is the insulator of electricity. Now, he connected the contact points with some wires in three different ways. I'm going to label them as setup 1, setup 2 and setup 3. And he tested the contact points using the circuit tester and the bulb lit up for the first setup. So is there an open or closed circuit in setup 1? There is a closed circuit. Let us draw in the circuit tester so that we can better visualize this closed circuit. I'm going to draw in the circuit tester connected to points P and points R. Is electricity able to flow through these points? Yes, electricity is able to flow through points P, S and R, allowing the bulb to light up. So what can we say about these three points? Are they conductors or insulators of electricity? They are definitely conductors of electricity since electricity can flow through them. I'm going to use the symbol C for conductors of electricity to label these three points. Now let's take a look at setups 2 and 3. In both cases, the bulb did not light up. Was electricity able to flow through setups 2 and 3? No, it cannot. So we know that they are both open circuits. Let's write that down. So this means that there must be an insulator of electricity that is connected in setups 2 and 3. Now from setup 1, we know that contact points P, S and R are conductors of electricity. So I'm going to label those points in setups 2 and 3. Remember P, and R are both conductors of electricity. And in setup 3, R and S are both conductors of electricity. Now, this is a trick. There are two unknown points in setups 2, Q and T. Either one can be an insulator of electricity, but only one unknown point in setup 3. So I will recommend that we analyze setup 3 since there's only one unknown point. Now let us draw in the circuit tester so that we can better visualize this. I'm going to draw in the circuit tester connected to point Q and S. Remember, electricity can flow through points R and points S as they are conductors of electricity. But did the bulb light up in this case? It did not. So we know that Q must be an insulator of electricity that stops electricity from flowing through circuit 3, preventing the bulb from lighting up. Now, since the question is looking for which point of contact that is not a conductor of electricity, that gives us the answer as point Q, option number one. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos, click on the links on the right hand side. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!